Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Patrick Downs is joining us now, a marathon bombing survivor. You are in the hand cycling division today, right? Yes, sir. All right. And you were instrumental in getting some rules changed. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we ride on Patriots Day, and so our Patriots should be acknowledged and celebrated just as every other athlete is. And we felt for the last couple of years like they weren't getting the respect that they were due. And we've made some significant changes this year to ensure that it will happen. There's going to be a victory ceremony at the end, the wreath on their head, and their national anthem played, and that's really special. This was a very important thing for you. Why was this so important for you? I know that they have meant a lot for you in the last few years. So my wife Jess and I have lived at Walter Reed for two and a half years now, and that's not a place that's meant for us. We're civilians. It's a place that's built for them on the promise that our country is going to take care of them, and yet they've welcomed us with such open arms. So when they come to Boston, our home, we want to make sure that they feel just as welcome as they made us feel. So tell me your name. Brandon Dodson. And what do you think about what he's done here with the big changes? It's, it, you know what it is? It's typical Patrick Downs is what it is. It really is. He, I think meeting um, all the wounded warriors at Walter Reed, being civilians, they just melded right in. They're such nice people, uh, him and his wife, Jessica, and they, we, they've absolutely become family. They're in our military wounded warrior family community now. So to see him open up Boston and make the BAA kind of like, hey, recognize this the way it should be is it's very typical. Have you Patrick. ever done Boston before? I did it last year for my first time. What yeah. was it like your first time? It's a it's a cool race. It's very odd. The route is <laughs> yeah. you're far away, you're, and then you just kind of go a straight road, and you go up a hill, you make a left, you're on Boylston, and there you go. That's and I, and I love it. It's a great time. I love Boston. I absolutely love it. I mean, who Boston. doesn't love Boston? It's yeah. so fun. If it was a straight line up the hill and a left, a lot more <laughs> people would be doing it. Right? Chris, uh, Chris kinda, and I would do it. Yeah, things, yeah. Right? Maybe it's a little more now. But it's, I, it's a fun race, and I really do enjoy it. I love being in the town. Patrick, what do you love? about the race because obviously last year it was so emotional yeah. watching you on the finish line I mean what does it mean to you to actually get in and do this race for me the race has always been about celebration of our community from when I was a student at Boston College and I ran it in 2005 uh, until what happened in 2013 it's always been about all of our people celebrating with each other and now I have the special honor of celebrating with my wounded warrior brothers and sisters and their special families and so it's just about being together with really good people. Uh, the athletic achievement is wonderful, but it's the community groundswell of support and love that uh, makes it like no other day. Was it hard for you to get them to change things? I mean, was it was it a challenge, or, or did it come pretty easy? No, it took a little while. We had a lot of conversations. Uh, uh, there was a lot of frustration at times, and so there was a lot of responsibility on our behalf to educate, help people better understand why some of these changes were needed so that this it could make this race more welcoming and celebratory for these athletes. And uh, that's a fight worth fighting, and I love doing it. And I think the BAA finally started to understand that uh, we have to celebrate everyone at this race, and we have to make it inclusive to everybody, because things changed in 13, and it's not just an elite race anymore, it's also a symbol of our unity as a country and as human beings that we take care of each other after tragedy. And they took care of us, they were the first ones by our side, they welcomed us at Walter Reed, and so when they come here we want to make sure that we welcome them too. Does this make it more special for you this year? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, I've been like shadow boxing the wall and jumping <laughs> up and down and not sleeping, and uh, really fired up last night at our dinner beforehand, you know, just to really be with fired these. up. Really? Yeah. Really like, fired tell up. us the secret, like what was he, he doing? We, I, I thought I needed to donate to his campaign. <laughs> I was like, when are you running, 2020? Is this what's happening right now? <laughs> I it's say, I say some dinner. words that aren't really appropriate for no, the not campaign the TV, not trail. The TV, no, 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 it's morning TV. <laughs> no, <laughs> later, Patrick, later. So, Patrick, when you, every time you hit that start line, I mean, yeah. is, is, it, is it something just brand new and special every single time that you hit that? Yeah, the nerves in the morning feel the same. Uh, the tears start to swell up in my eyes. I think about all the history that represents for myself and my wife and for our family. Mm -hmm. um, what it means for not only Boston, but all the towns from here to there, and all the people in Massachusetts. Uh, it's an incredibly special day, and we all get celebrated together. When you hear the crowds cheering you on up Heartbreak Hill, that's gonna be... It's priceless. I mean, people stake out Heartbreak Hill because they know how hard it is for the athletes. And as hard as it is for us, they just fuel us. They ca they pick you up and just carry you yeah. up the hill. Yeah. And and that they, they, you feel yeah. that whether or not you're from here or not. 
you really feel it. It's, it's awesome. All right, guys. Well, you know what? You got a great day. It's a little warm. Sorry about the, the warm. I'll take it. It's going to be a great day. It. We go so fast, we get some nice wind. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Right. Well, you've only got about 40 minutes to get ready, so oh, we'll let you go. All right. all right, guys. Good luck. Nice to Thanks, see you. Patrick, good to see you. Thank you very Patrick, much. Patrick, nice to see great. you again. Thanks, Thanks so for coming by, guys. Good luck. We're going to rock it today. Nice to see you. Rocking it as always.